Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Stephanie. Today we're at the home of Evan. An energetic three-year-old who loves cars, trains, planes, and all things in motion. In this video, we're going to show you a fun and easy way to decorate a boy's room. We'll start with this plain room and with a few simple tools, transform it into a dynamic space that any boy would love. Let's get started. First, let's go over some tools we'll be using. The Transportation Fascination Stencil Kit from MyWonderfulWalls.com contains 32 large stencils, all of which are self-adhesive, so we won't need any tape or spray adhesive, a variety of brushes, and some extra release paper for storing your stencils on. In addition to what comes with the kit, we'll also be using some chalk, paper plates, and an assortment of acrylic paints. We've gone ahead and painted the room in nice blue color, which will become the sky in our transportation theme. You'll want to be sure to save some of your base coat for touch-ups later on. The scene we are about to paint has hills, so we need to consider where the furniture will be in the room. With a piece of chalk, we've lightly marked out where the major pieces will be. So now, let's sketch the hills. The easiest way to paint hills is with a roller. For practice, we're going to start with something simple like a cloud. Place the stencil on the wall and rub it down with your hand, making sure that all the inner edges are down. Dip your foam brush into the acrylic paint. Be sure not to get too much paint on the brush, otherwise it might bleed under the stencil. It's important to use a stabbing or patting motion to paint, particularly around the edges. If you use a back and forth motion, the paint could work its way under the stencil. Usually two coats of paint will do. You can use a hair dryer to speed things up. Once the paint is semi-dry, remove the stencil. It's that easy. Now that we've practiced with the cloud, we're going to start with the train and bridge, which is our focal point, and we're going to work our way out from there. When placing a stencil, hold it by the top edge, keeping it taut. This will help it lie flat when you place it on the wall. In order for these larger stencils to hold their form, they require plastic bridges, which leaves some unpainted space. So when you're done, just come back and paint them in. You can cut the stencils to bring them closer together and paint them at the same time. Now let's fill in the rest of the scene. It's a good idea to test the layout before removing the backing paper and placing your stencil. Try different variations and see what you like. You can create depth in a scene by layering elements, such as painting this balloon in front of the cloud. And if you mess up, don't worry, just paint over it. And here it is. Colorful, dynamic, and fun. We have completely transformed this room in a single weekend. We hope this quick and easy method has inspired you to paint your boy's room. And remember, at MyWonderfulWalls.com, we make it easy for your walls to be wonderful.